What's up YouTube, this is Tech Time Today, and I'm doing this video by the request of a friend of mine on YouTube, his channel name is You Did What To Who, uh, he does gaming videos as well, I'll have his, I'll have the link to his channel in the description below, as well in my sub box on my channel page. Uh, so anyway, he uses Windows Live Movie Maker to record his videos, and obviously I use Sony Vegas Pro 10 to, uh, I'm sorry, he uses Windows Live Movie Maker to edit his videos, and I use Sony Vegas Pro 10. And he wanted to know what differences were between Sony Vegas Pro and Windows Live Movie Maker that justified the $500 or $600 price tag, whatever this has. Uh, and I'm going to try and show off some of those features. Now, I am by no means an expert at using Sony Vegas Pro, but I do use a good number of features that a game commentator would need to use. I mean, there are more advanced features. I just started using this, so I'm not really acquainted with most of the settings. But I'll do my best to show off what you can do. So first off, we'll go to just a random video I'll load in one of the videos that uh, let me see we'll do a, go to a gameplay video let's go to my bad coming to recon gameplay now as you can see you have separate tracks here where you can edit anything you want you can highlight this say I wanna delete the first 20 seconds there it's done already move this over now this is the beginning I can pretty much edit whatever I want on the video stream just by right clicking it. Uh, what I usually do is I go to properties and disable resample. That helps a lot. And then another great thing is video event FX. Here is where you can pretty much edit the video to your liking. Uh, you have stuff where you can correct the color. You have uh, I use color corrector I think. Do I? No, I don't think I use color corrector, actually. I use color balance. I use soft contrast. I use... Uh, saturation adjust. I use sharpen. And... That may be it. Oh, brightness and contrast. And then if you do that, you can get some nice color correction going on. I have all the settings saved here. Uh, color balance, I just leave standard. Soft contrast, I set to gameplay. Saturation adjust, I set to gameplay. Sharpen. Gameplay. And brightness and contrast. Gameplay. And... After doing that, you get some nice new effects on your video. It makes it look, the colors look a lot better, at least to me. So you do get a bunch more editing options on your video uh, stream with Sony Vegas when compared to Windows Live Movie Maker. Then you can edit the audio. I normally don't edit it much. I really don't do anything to it. Like, I'll delete out parts of the audio, but I never really, like, do anything to it. So I'm not really sure how to do that, but uh, if any of you know how, just post a comment below and I'll put an annotation in the video. Uh, secondly, I like all the sh all the different tracks you can use. With, with Windows Live Movie Maker, you can get one video track and two audio tracks. With this, you get unlimited. So, let's say I want to put in a watermark. I'm not sure if you can do this in Windows Live Movie Maker because you are only allowed one video stream. So we'll add in the watermark. I'll do Yauch, because I'm trying to become a Yauch director, so that seems appropriate. We'll move these down here. And then we'll extend this all the way to the end. We will... Hold on, is this all set right? this yep in the top right it is there so let's see 
Let's see how it looks as a finished product. I already rendered out a video, I think. Did I? I hope I did. That way I can at least show you how it looks. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I didn't render out the video. I had one rendered before. I must have deleted it. But anyway, you can see up in the top corner there, I have a little watermark for Yowch. It's just a nice feature to have. And as you can see, I still have access to editing each individual part, which is really nice. So, uh, you have a lot of editing capabilities in Sony Vegas Pro that you don't get in, uh, in Windows Live Movie Maker. So, a lot of options here. I love the multiple video streams. I love all the color correction tools that you can use. And then, what I love a lot is all the render settings. I do the Sony AVC render setting. I make custom render settings. You have so many options. Uh, what to set the frame rate to, what to set the resolution to, video format, uh, entropy coding. You have the pixel aspect ratio, the bit rate. You have all this stuff you can edit. It's really, really great stuff that you can you can basically tweak the video to anything you want. 16 million is a bit high for the bit rate. Sometimes with the longer videos, my computer has trouble doing 16 million. I think it might be because of my hard drive speed. What I'm going to be doing later this year is getting <coughs> a small SSD just for Windows and Sony Vegas Pro, uh, a Western Digital Velociraptor for my games and other programs, and then two one terabyte hard drives in RAID 0 for my recordings and any other files that I don't need on the Velociraptor. So that should be able to uh, render out the 16 million bit rate because you need a good amount of write speed for that. And it's definitely not my processor because when I when I do this, or my memory, because when I do this I'm at like 60 or 70% utilization on the processor, so that's not the bottleneck. I'm pretty sure it's the write speed of my hard drive. So anyway, I'll probably have that fixed up so I can get the bit rate higher and make my videos look a little bit higher quality. So, as you can see, there are definitely a ton of options here. And this isn't really even scratching the surface. This is just my uh, my limited knowledge of it. So, that's pretty much it for what I know about Sony Vegas Pro. I mean, I haven't been using it long, so... It's difficult for me to show you guys exactly like what you can do with this. There's definitely a lot of stuff, but as you can see, this already far surpasses the quality of Windows Live Movie Maker. It isn't even close, really. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I have so far. Those are, that's basically the uh, stuff I know how to do in uh, in Vegas Pro so far. Oh, one more thing. You can pan and crop the videos. Wait, that's the wrong video. This video stream. You can pan and crop it, and the black bars on the side are because I record it 16 by 10 resolution, and YouTube's player runs at 16 by 9, so the, the black bars on the side are to make up for that. But when I get a 1080p monitor in like a month or two, uh, that should alleviate the problem. So anyway, you can pan and crop, go like this, video gets zoomed in. It has some really nice features, so if any of you were thinking about getting Sony Vegas Pro and didn't know if it was worth it, it definitely is. It's And you can also shorten and lengthen, like if you want to make a really precise change, you go like this. You can see down to the second. Want to go like that? you got the time up in the left, you can see down to tenths of a second. If you want to make a really minute change, there's one little part of the video you want to edit out, you can do that. You get down to tenths of a second here. Actually, hundredth of a second. Oh no, that's a tenth of a second. Yeah, you can, you can really get down to the fine details of the video. So, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about the advantages of Sony Vegas Pro. And uh, you guys should probably keep a lookout for Sony Vegas Pro 11, which will be coming this fall. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.